What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is Mess here with FTH Cards. Um, today, we have a PSA submission return. Um, I submitted at the end of January with uh, KK Sports Cards. Um, if you guys are looking to uh, send some stuff to PSA, they got a great deal. It's um, $48 a card, I believe. Um, you send it to them, uh, and they send it off and they send it back. It was honestly really, really, really easy. Uh, they take care of everything. They fill out all the information. You just literally send your cards in a package to them and they take care of everything else. And at $48 a card, that's a, that's a steal in my opinion compared if you do it yourself, I think it's like a hundred dollars a card. So, uh, KK sports card based out of Florida, they're, they're, they're great. So, um, we're gonna see what we get. I know I submitted 10 cards. Um, I believe two of them are Pokemon cards and then the rest are all sports. So I have no idea what the grades are. So I'm seeing it for the first time as well. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Um, looks like the grades are on the front there. So here we go. Um, so like I said, KK Sports Cards, they send it to them, PSA, and then they just send them back to you. Um, so this is everything I have. Now let's see, I have no idea, like I said, what I got but pretty excited to find out <clears throat> so this is my first ever psa submission um i've submitted to hga sgc uh bgs but this is my first ever two psa so um to start i got a francis naganu um out of 2020 prism it's uh numbered 13 out of 25 so go ahead flip it over um it's the instant impact green. Um, so let's see. It looks pretty good. Um, I think the corners look pretty good. But I'm hoping for a 10, obviously. But we'll see. And it's a 10. Gem and 10. Nice. So that's a great way to start off the submission. Uh, Francis Naganu. Uh, so that's a that's probably my biggest UFC card as of now. As I start to get into UFC more. So, nice, nice card right there. Next up, we have a Lamello. I believe this is the Chinese New Year. Yeah, this is the Chinese New Year uh, Lamello. So, we'll take a look, quick look at the back. Um, looks pretty good. Uh, corners look pretty good. Um, flip it over here. So, I picked this up at a show, um, local show, I think for like 60 bucks. Um, and then sent it in. So the corners look pretty good. Then maybe there's a little whitening up there we can see, but otherwise pretty good. Obviously I hope for a 10, but you know, I won't be upset with a nine and we got a 10. So two for two. That's nice. Chinese new year, uh, PSA 10. So that's an awesome card right there. I think it goes for probably like 250 or something like that. So that's a pretty good pickup. Uh, nice little mellow ball. Next up we have an RJ Barrett. Um, 2020 rated rookie i think it's the blue velocity um corners look pretty good i had actually picked this up on star stock it was a star stock a um so this is kind of cool we get to see how this one grades out um this centering looks pretty good on it uh, like i said this is their star stock a maybe a little something in the corner over here but We'll see how Starstock does it. Um, if it comes back a 9, I mean, I won't be upset, but a 10 would be perfect. So let's see how the A does. And it is a 10. Nice. 3 for 3. That's gorgeous. Nice uh, RJ Barrett there. I'm a Knicks fan, so that's kind of cool for the PC. Um, we'll see how they do next year. They didn't have a great year this year, but I think RJ Barrett's on the up and up. So uh, this is the Mellow Ball. This is the Mosaic. Uh, NBA debut, I forgot what color. I think I submitted two of them. Could be green or orange. Maybe I think I have a green and orange in here. Um, so let's see. Oh, it's a pink camo. That's it. Sorry. It's the pink camo NBA debut. And we got a nine. All right. That's not bad. Um, hey, listen, anything and it's a uh, nine or ten, I'll take it. Um, I believe this probably goes for like 75 bucks. Or something like that, but I picked it up in um, in a uh, 
probably a cello i think i got it in or is it uh yeah the the pink cam was in a cello so i, I got it i pulled it in a cello figured i'd send it in so not bad psa 9 uh so three tens and a nine okay next up is pokemon um it's either going to be a blastoise or a i think it's a rayquaza v alternate uh alternate art so this blastoise okay this is the rayquaza alt art from evolving skies um mostly we do sports cards but there's some pokemon cards i like to send in it looked pretty clean um Edges look pretty good. Corners look pretty good. I think the centering is actually fair. Um, so let's see. And we got a 10. Nice. I think it's like $350 card. Um, I pulled this out of Evolving Skies myself. So that's pretty awesome. Nice uh, PSA 10 right there. So four out of five. I'm very happy so far. Um, next, we got a Darren Waller Kaboom. I think I'll probably save that one for last. Um Next, I got the, this is the Blastoise out of, uh, this is the 25th anniversary uh, edition Blastoise. So I pulled this myself. Um, I don't remember if I got this. Yeah, it was in the, um, probably in one of the um, ETBs, but definitely pretty cool. Um, Blastoise has always been my favorite Pokemon, uh, so I figured, why not get one graded? This was the best one I had, uh, best condition, so obviously open for a 10, but I'd be happy for a 9. And boom, another 10. Nice. Very, very, very nice uh, PSA 10 base set Blastoise um, from the 25th anniversary. So, there we go. Actually, that one... You know what? We'll go with the... I'll go with the Kaboom next. Let's go with the Kaboom. Uh, I picked this up at a show, at a local show. Um, I don't really... It's not so much as Darren Waller that I've got it graded. I just always wanted to grade a Kaboom. Uh, I've never never had one graded. I don't expect it to be a 10. Um, the corners, there's a little edge work on the corners. I would love a 9. I think that 9, that'd be great. But I'm kind of expecting an 8. So we'll see. Boom, 9. That's actually... Uh, awesome actually um that's very nice psa 9 kaboom i know they're not the easiest to grade so a uh, 9 is awesome i definitely expected kind of like an 8 so i will take a 9 i think that's a a great great grade right there so so far very 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 happy with the submission um next up is a justin fields rated rookie um i got this in a trade uh, for a bunch of other stuff, but this one's pretty cool because it's a uh, super short print, but it doesn't have a name So this is one of the super short prints in, from Donruss um, So it's the Justin Fields no name uh, Nice silver the card looked really really clean um, I didn't see any errors. Maybe maybe down here you get a little little something on the corner a little softness, but uh, overall um, I, I think it will, should grade pretty well and boom 10 very nice very 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 nice um this so far this submission has gone great um doesn't really matter what the rest of the grades are i'm very very happy so kk sports cards uh definitely done a great job i know you can pay for the pre-screening i didn't this time around um because i thought the cards looked pretty clean but i know they do a uh, pre-screening if you want next up is a clyde's uh clyde edwards hilaire seven out of ten so it's gold uh premier level from select um i picked this up on whatnot actually um <clears throat> I, I forgot what i paid for it but or, or it could have been a giveaway or something like that but i picked it up and uh i thought it looked pretty cool um serring looks decent um corners look pretty good i don't know exactly what's gonna grade but uh, you know a 10 i mean would be wonderful but out of 10 uh anything and gold out of 10 is is worth uh, giving it a grade. I think hopefully he can have a pretty good year um, with the Chiefs. Now that Tyreek Hill is gone, I know they're different positions, but maybe they'll get the run game a little bit more involved and uh, he can get going. So we have a nine. So, all right, not bad. You got a nine from uh, for the Clyde Edwards Hilaire. So, uh, yeah, up here is a little whitening on the corner up top uh, overall. And down here, there's a soft corner. So, uh, makes makes sense that it's a nine, but I'm 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 happy with that. I was gonna get it graded anyway. 
um, being a out of 10 being a gold. So last but certainly not least, I'm actually going to take it out of here first. We have the Troy Palomalu gold out of 10. Uh, I believe 18 out of 10. Oh, I'm sorry, 8 out of 10. Duh, that came 18 out of 10, but 8 out of 10. Um, this one's definitely for the PC. just want to get it graded. I don't even care what it grades at. Uh, there's a little whitening on the corners there. So probably going to get a 9, but it's from Prism. So it looks super clean on the front. Um, the centering looked pretty good. Like I said, I'm, I'm expecting a 9, but a 10 would be wonderful. And we got a nine. So yeah, the, the corners were had a little bit of whitening on it, but a, a uh, out of ten, gold out of ten, uh, had had to get it graded. So that that's great for the PC right there. Overall, I'm very 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 happy with what I got. Um, so I'll do a quick recap for the nines. We have four nines. Uh, the gold Troy Palomalu from Prism. We got the gold Disco Prism, uh, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Nine. We got the Darren Waller Kaboom nine. And the Lamella Ball NBA debut nine. Then for our tens, we have the Justin Fields. No name. Ten. We have a Blastoise. 25th anniversary. Ten. The Requaza V alternate art from Evolving Skies. Ten. The R.J. Barrett Blue Velocity um, from Optic. Ten. We have the Lamella Ball Chinese New Year. Ten. And then we have the Francis Naganu from 2020 Prism um, is the Impact. PSA 10. And that one, again, is numbered 13 out of 25. So... Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, like, comment, uh, subscribe uh, down below. Let me know what uh, you guys think of the video, of these cards. I should have another one coming in the next couple weeks. I know I sent out another order, so I'm pretty excited about that. That one has even bigger cards in it. Um, <clears throat> check us out on Whatnot at FTH underscore cards, on Instagram at FTH underscore cards, and uh, continue to show us the support because we really really greatly appreciate it and uh until next time peace